57fad.com. Keep it 100%. You got that 100% hip hop. Um, definitely, yeah, Rock been home, Rock been home for like about uh, five months now, you know what I mean? Um, we definitely spoke, you know what I mean? That, that's no question about that, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody was um, kind of talking about our situation we had, but it's a dead situation. I knew Rock and this all my life, you know what I'm saying? That's like my brother, so, you know, for people that probably thought we wasn't going to speak, it was like, it's just a matter of time, you know what I mean? It was just kind of like, a little situation happens while he was in jail and I was out here. You know, he say, she say shit, but you know, that whole situation was dead before Rock even came home from jail, so. You know how that shit is, that's like my brother, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing but love, you know what I mean? Shout out to my boy D-Rock. Of course we spoke, you know what I mean? We kicking it, we still keeping it moving, it's still mafia, hard body. So, you know, we, we got some things in the making, you know what I mean? Stay tuned for that, but, you know, me and Rock is peace, definitely. Kim, you it's, it's no situation. I'm saying I, ain't, I, I, still, I still ain't speak to Kim about five, six years, you know what I mean? So I, I can't really tell you on her end, but on my end, it's, it's nothing but love, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. I don't got no monstrosity, ain't got no beef, got no real feelings towards Kim. Got nothing but love for her, which is the best. I've been trying to reach out to her, actually, you know what I mean? But I guess the people around her, a bunch of opportunists, you know what I mean? They ain't trying to put no good business together, so, you know, I could never. I could never reach out to her personally, so you know what I mean? If you're seeing this, holler at me, man. Let's get some money. Let's get some paper. We could do a lot of things out here, you know what I mean? I was trying to get in touch with her, especially when we started shooting the big film, you know what I mean? Because everybody kind of was putting their little, they putting their little situations, their little feelings to the side. We all came together for one cause. The only one that wasn't there was Kim, so, you know, everybody else kind of, you know, we kind of stood our ground and, and, and made it happen, you know what I'm saying? But. She ain't come around, but you know, it's, it's, nothing but, it's nothing but open doors here for you though, you know what I mean? Let's talk, let's kick it. I ain't got no beef, I ain't got no problems with you or nothing, man. I wish you the best, you know. Let's do another Mafia album, keep it real with you. I mean, it's a reunion. I mean, you know, such thing as a reunion. I, nobody never broke up, you know what I'm saying? Mafia always been a Mafia. You know, like, you know, that was a group that Big put together from day one, and a lot of us wasn't writers from that day, so it was something a little more personal. You know what I mean? And um, Mafia will always be the Mafia. What? Ain't no reunion, because Kim went there, Kim don't make up for the Mafia. You know what I mean? There's nine people in that group, so Mafia's still here. You know what I mean? Just a lot of them just didn't rap, but that's my family. I grew up with all them cats that was from that group. Even Kim, you know what I mean? So none of us never broke up. You know what I mean? A lot of them just wasn't artists, they wasn't rappers. And, when they died, they kind of just fell back from it. But the ones that was rappers, they kept on pushing. Me, Ken, um, Cheek, that was back, got banged. So, Mafia is still Mafia, you know? You, you, can, you can see a few of them in the movie, because a few of them play themselves in, the, uh, in a Biggie movie. So, you'll see that for yourself, and definitely look out for another Mafia album as well, too. My highest weight, my highest weight, been, I've been about 210, 215, my highest, and uh, my lowest was 160, and I'm like at, I'm like at 165 now, so I would say my, my highest was, I was definitely 210, I was all the way down to 160, now I'm like at 165, but I'm going to try to get to 155, that might be my next mission or my next hard body DVD, you know what I mean, so we don't know yet, but we're going to keep it pushing though, you know what I mean? The drive that pushed me in there, I mean, I just want, I just want to be healthy. I, I ain't feel good about myself, you know what I mean? I was going through a lot at that time, and um, the way I was looking just added fuel to the fire, you know what I mean? Just all that stuff I was going through with all that, the, the Kim stuff and everything that was going on in the streets, I was just trying to find a way to challenge that negative energy into something positive, man. And that's where I took out all my frustrations at. When I felt like I was mad at the world, I threw on the headphones and went to the gym. And I've been doing that for about two and a half years now, you know what I mean? Just putting it in and um, when I came out, I was seeing the results I was getting. I was seeing everything was working for me and it was just, it, it did more than just a workout. It became a lifestyle for me. It, it started to 
start to clear my head, clear my mind, start to make me think better. You know what I mean? Built up my confidence again, and I just, I felt good all over again. I just wanted to take advantage of that. Once I seen what it was doing, I stayed in the gym. I was in there two, three hours a day, Monday through Friday. You know what I mean? Once I started seeing the results, I pushed even harder, but it was just a tool just to really just to, just to stay out of uh, stay out of all the negativity. And um, it's turning into something positive right now for me. You see what I'm pushing, baby? This hard body right here. That's all we doing. You know what I mean? Nah, I ain't, I ain't really do the book thing, but you know, I did my research on the computer. You know what I mean? Once I started, like, you know, like after a year, once I really was full blown into it, like far as with the, the full workouts, the eating six times a day, and the dieting and all that, that's when I started doing my research because I was actually seeing, I actually seen what I was doing started to work. And I wanted to work more, I wanted to lose more weight, I wanted to tone up more. And, and yeah, I did my research, or whenever I was in the gym, I asked a trainer, or any of my partners I was working out with, I asked them for information. I wasn't afraid to ask, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I ain't know, I look it up. You know what I mean? I look it up on the computer. I asked my girl, I asked my homeboy, anything. You know what I mean? Whatever I didn't know, I went out there and I got the information for it. I didn't go read no manuals, no books or nothing like that because I knew a lot about working out. I always did it back and forth. But this is probably the first time where I was totally consistent with it for a long time. And um, you know, it's something that just grows with you, man. You know, when you're working out, it becomes a lifestyle without you knowing it, you know what I mean? You just find yourself working out every day, you find yourself eating the right food, or you go figure out how to eat something differently when you get tired of eating the same old thing. So I would just experiment, you know, just trying new things, figuring new things out, or I call, I call a friend, call one of my homies, ask them what they eating or how to diet, you know? I definitely did my research, you know what I mean? Because if you don't know it, what you gonna be doing? You know what I mean? I had to find out certain things, and I learned them all. I went out there and did the research myself.